Welcome back. We are here with Randall Walker with the City of Perry, and we're going to talk a little bit today about GMA's newest program, HR Express. Hi, Randall. How are you doing? Good morning. How Good are morning. you this morning? I am great. Third day of convention. Like, oh. how, is it setting in? How is it for you so far? It's really great. I wish they'd turn the air conditioning on outside. <laughs> uh, that is a great suggestion. It is. Okay, it's so warm. I'm put that on my list of like <laughs> suggestions for next year. So let's talk a little bit about HR Express. When did kind of the planning stages begin, and what is your role in planning? Well, I serve on the advisory board for GMA of you know member services, mm -hmm. and uh, Beth English back in 2014. One of the things she thought about is in her presidency was well we need to expand the member services that we offer. Mm -hmm. So we went out to the field and asked the people in the field as to what do you really need? Mm -hmm. And so one of the real needs that came back was HR help. Right. You know, keeping up with the detailed regulations that are coming out from both state and federal agencies, mm -hmm. making sure that they're doing those on, you know, as they should, and also providing a good quality HR product mm -hmm. for the municipal employees in each one of the municipalities. Wow, so we were talking a little earlier today about you know there are so many different HR programs out there and training courses but not all of them really cater to municipalities and city officials. What's the difference between HR Express and those programs? Well, one of the things when I was talking to our HR staff about this program mm -hmm. and was it something that we could use in the city of Perry, they said most definitely. Wow, they right. say that there's a large amount of training that's offered in HR, but the vast majority of that's directed towards the private sector. Right. So when they go to these training courses, many times they walk away and they don't have the information they truly need for being in the public sector. Mm -hmm. So this is really directed towards just the public sector, helping the people who work in municipalities, mm -hmm. making sure that they live by the regulations that are out there that are applicable to them. Awesome. So th there, obviously there are some cities that may say, well, we have this covered. We really don't need a, a program like that. What are some kind of encouraging words or some advice you would give to them to really try HR Express? Well, going back to what I just said, mm -hmm. much of the training is directed directly to the right. public sector. But the real issue is that you know, these changes are coming almost monthly. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very hard to keep up with them. And on top of that, really understanding how they apply to your city right. or your municipality. And mm -hmm. so I think this is going to be directed. It'll be timely. It'll yeah. be up-to-date information so you can use it in your day-to-day -day administration. Okay, great. So let's talk a little more about kind of the HR Express, the program. Like, what can people expect? Do they have to travel or like where is it at their fingertips on their computer? Kind of talk about the program. Okay, one of the big advantages of this program that I got back from our staff was mm -hmm. we don't have to travel. Good. Because, you know, it costs money, it's taxpayer mm -hmm. money that we're spending to get this training. So the key feature is going to be a, a monthly uh, webinar with oh, wow. the supporting group that's doing this. Mm -hmm. So the webinar will come on at their desk so they don't have to leave. It'll be on relevant topics okay. that they're dealing with right now. And then they'll have, after that, they'll have three days that they can call in and talk to LRB Thompson attorneys relative oh. to specific items mm -hmm. that might be applicable to their municipality individually. Uh, there's a couple of other things. There'll be a newsletter that comes out on a quarterly basis. Okay. And then once a year, there's going to be a meet and greet, if you will, type oh, thing. So they good. can get together and share best practices and talk about mm -hmm. the concerns they have about regulations that are in their city. Awesome. So it, def you, it sounds like you have everything covered from the webinars, and I, I think definitely that personal connection, that meet and greet is awesome. So um, you mentioned LRB Thompson. How did that relationship come about? I know they've been you know, partners and friends of GMA for a while, but what kind of expertise do they bring to HR Express? They, they are uh, one of the renowned HR attorneys in, in our state, awesome. and so being a partner with GMA, that worked right into mm -hmm. them being the person that could bring this service Good. to our our members. Good, good. So um, obviously it's kind of transitioning from HR Express, which is very, very exciting. I know you all can visit GMA and NET.com to learn more about HR Express, but this is live in the hall with Cities in Play as the convention theme. So can we talk a little bit about what are some fun things to do in Perry? What do you enjoy most about doing in Perry? Well, we have a couple of interesting things in Perry. Okay. I am a runner and walker and have been all my oh, life. Awesome. But our mayor implemented walk with the mayor once a month. 
So wow. once a month we get out as a city council and a mm -hmm. mayor, we go to different neighborhoods throughout the town. We encourage all of our constituents to come and walk and talk with us. Tell us about your concerns. We go to their neighborhoods so they don't have to come to City Hall and say, well, I really don't want to go to City right. Council meeting and sit through that. But we go to their, where the they live right. and invite them to come out with us. And we spend a couple of hours walking through, talking to various people and understanding their issues in that neighborhood. Wow, wow. I mean, that's definite. I commend you on that. That's some dedication, especially in the hot Georgia sun to go out and walk. So I think well, that's awesome. Well, we try awesome. to do it late in the afternoon, okay. so it's not really <laughs> okay. bad. But, but it's still a, a little warm, a little yes, warm. So it I is think still that's warm. awesome. What are some other things that Perry has to offer as far as cities in play? Well, we have the Georgia National Fairgrounds there. So everybody okay. in October comes and spend, we have about a half a million people that come and play in Perry at the no Georgia National oh, Fairgrounds. Good. But in addition to that, on a you know, week to week basis, mm -hmm. we have different type of play going on, whether it's dog shows or oh. cheerleading competition mm -hmm. or those type of things at the fairgrounds. So we encourage everybody to come to Perry, Georgia, where Georgia right. comes together. Oh, I love that. Georgia comes together and they have fun. So yes, that's what it do. sounds. That's what it sounds like. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad I was able to learn about Perry and just tell everyone about HR Express. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Enjoy convention. We will be right back with more of our amazing vendors at Live in the Hall.